Barbie lovers and everyone else, welcome back to my channel. This is Marina the 90s Barbie and in this channel we unbox new dolls and we check out vintage dolls and we do tons of other fun stuff related to Barbie. So of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the fun. Now in today's video, I actually have something quite different for you because I want to share the story, which is basically a story about my um, stupidity. But I want to share the story of how I ended up with not one or two or three Barbie Rewind Career Girls. Oh my wow, I love them so so much obviously, but I feel like it's a very interesting story so I decided to do a story time about it and I've already unboxed one so she will accompany me throughout this video. Before we begin, I must remind you that this video and this channel are only for adult Barbie collectors, Barbie lovers, gift givers or anyone else who may enjoy this type of videos but not in any way for kids. So, before I start, let me also tell you that I am now the proud owner of the full Barbie Rewind collection. If you watched my Christmas haul video, you know I was missing this girl. Now I have her and I have all three and I am so eternally grateful for this beautiful line. I would like to thank the designer behind it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because this line is truly so many of the things we were all asking for many years, you know, vintage face molds and, you know, big larger than life hair and extravagant clothes and gorgeous packaging. So, you know, it's, it's amazing. However, I do have a crazy story to share, but before I want to show you a little close up of my full collection because I'm just so proud of it. Okay, that was everything and I am here with my girl. I kind of tried to match her today. I do not know if I succeeded. You know, I do not have a bow hat, but at least it's a pink bow. So I'm ready to begin telling the story. So brace yourselves. I got these girls. I ordered this career girl and the working out girl a little bit before New Year's so it was December 29 or 28 I don't actually remember but I ordered those and I was very very happy because I got them from Amazon and I found if you got them online and I can't stop doing that with a bend and snap legs I'm so happy so I ordered these two girls with a great discount online if you've been following the line you know that for some reason there were some great sales and i was so super excited because the sad fact is that we didn't even get this line here in greece so with taxes and shipping i would have to pay like double or maybe triple the price but because the sale was so great I managed to get them for like normal price which is amazing so I was really really naturally excited so the dolls arrive I see the boxes I open them everything is perfect please also don't mind the fact that she's not wearing shoes these fall all the time so I open them and I am so thrilled the packaging is beautiful colors look amazing everything is great and Miss Barbie Rewind working out here looks fabulous. I see her, I open her, she is perfection. I mean, look at her. So pretty. 
But after a while, I noticed that my career girl has a little black mark somewhere around her forehead. And it was actually kind of, you know, it was prominent, you could see it. So I was like, what is that? I was kind of frustrated because I've encountered the same thing in another doll and I was never able to remove that. So I figured it must be something from the factory, like embedded paint or something, or I was a bit scared for mold. So naturally I was swaying. So I was a bit frustrated, but I was like, okay, I'll see because I wanted to have all of them twice. So I was like, maybe I'll order one more, you know? And I do that. I order this gal right here, finally, after finding her on the same sale. Because this sale on Amazon, like, wasn't every day. You could, like, find it and then they would be out of stock. And it was amazing. I think it was, like, 50 bucks or something. So, yeah, I got her. And I also got an additional Rewind Girl, of course. So I wait, I wait, I wait. I was like, I won't unbox this girl. I am really sad that this little mark may not ever come off, but you know, I have an additional one on the way, so it's fine. And the dolls arrive, same story. I open the boxes. I am so excited for my night out girl. She looks fabulous. I am so happy that I have finally completed my collection because as you've seen in my Christmas haul, I only had the two first and I wanted the full collection so bad. But then again, after the excitement, I opened my second Barbie Rewind doll and she has like a big chunk missing from her lips. I was horrified. At the beginning I was horrified and actually this is the doll right now, this is the one I decided to unbox. Um, I was a little horrified and I am a bit of a drama queen so maybe I kind of, you know, blew this out of proportion, but still, I was like, It's my second one, and the first one had a little defect, so why does the second one need to have one too? I was really sad, and honestly, I did not know what to do. I was, I was frustrated, let me just say that. And I was ready to just give up on it, on the whole thing, but my darling friend, Yanis, told me, um, you know, no, don't just leave it like that. You should return her and get another one. And I've never returned anything on Amazon. So I was like, oh, this is so frustrating and I'm bored doing it. But you know, maybe I will, maybe I shouldn't just leave that because it will always bother me. And it's one of the lines that I really, really love. So I go and I start, since I've never done that before, and I start talking to, you know, customer service and I'm like, okay, so I have this doll, this is the problem and I want to return her. Do you know where the dropout spots are or whatever are they called so that I can just leave her there and you can send me another one. And please keep in mind that this was in the midst of the, like it was, it was January and the cases were so high, not that they are now here in Greece, but still they aren't as high as they were back then. So I really, really wasn't going anywhere, like at all, and I really didn't want to go out. And then the person I was talking to, out of the blue, told me that, you know, no, 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 don't worry, you don't need to return her, we'll just send you another one. I was like, wait, what? Hold it, hold it, what? This can happen. Like I've said before, I've never returned anything on Amazon, so I didn't know this was even a possibility. For this one, we don't want to put you through any more inconvenience, and I was like, that is amazing, thank you. I was like, are you sure? Like, is this 100%? I won't be in trouble. And the person was very kind, so they told me, no, 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 you don't need to worry. This is our mistake, so we will send you a replacement doll. I was so thrilled. Although a bit worried because after two kind of defective dolls, I was scared. So time passes and my third doll arrives. Wow. So I am cautiously optimistic and I'm ready to open her up and see what's going on. And her lips are perfect. Absolutely perfection. Painted for the gods. Amazing. I am really, really happy until I see her cheek. A huge black dot was right here and there was another one little one on the chin right here but that that didn't show so much at this point I was living I was mortified I wanted to 
throw and break something and I, I, I just, I don't know. Like I said, my past experience with such little black dots is that they usually never go away and then it's something from the factory so I never just I never even pay attention to it anymore but for this line it bothered me so before we move on to the end of the story and I tell you what happens let's just do a little comparison of this girl with her OG predecessor which is of course day to night Barbie okay let me start this comparison by showing you an overview of Miss Barbie Rewind's accessories this girl has a fabulous matching with her skirt briefcase with a huge 80s Barbie logo, loves it. The classic 80s brick phone which has very nice prints on it and Barbie's logo again. Some charts here for her office, I'm guessing, for her job. A little super cute calculator that says 54 and obviously has like a handle so she can hold it. And oh my Wow, the classic 80s and 90s seashell kind of molded Barbie brush. So, so in love. Now, Miss Day to Night Barbie, at least from what I see here, I don't know if she originally had one, doesn't have a brush at all, but she does have a very similar briefcase, though hers is pink and white and doesn't have the full logo, just the monogram at the top there. She also doesn't come with a phone, but she does come with the exact same calculator in just a different color even the number is the same the number of the print on the screen it says 54 i think that's amazing plus this girl comes with an extra purse which we didn't see in the barbie rewind doll and a hat of course barbie rewind wears a hat as well but it has a huge bow on it and it's very very different and now let's check out their faces and other aspects. So both dolls obviously have the superstar Barbie face. Both dolls are wearing earrings and both have the same shade of honey blonde and a very similar hairstyle. Although Miss Rewind has also a bow, plus she's rocking bangs. Now what I would really like to point out, especially about their faces and makeup, is that even though both dolls are sporting a superstar face and bright blue eyeshadow on the eyes, their face screenings to me personally look very, very different. Let me know down below in the comments if you're seeing this, but to me, even though both of them are superstar, this girl right here, Miss Day Tonight, has more of a classic 80s Barbie face screening and makeup. In contrast to Miss Rewind, who has more of a 90s screening and makeup and, I don't know, superstar face mold shape, I don't know. If we look at 90s Barbie dolls, this girl comes closer than her. She is, at least to my opinion, very classically 80s, while she is much more 90s. Do you see it? Let me know down below. Okay, so now we're moving into major differences. Although both dolls are wearing a two-piece set with a blazer, as you all know very well, Miss Day to Night has an outfit that changes and becomes more of an evening gown wear, you know, a cocktail dress, while hers, you know, remains the same. Plus, her skirt has a houndstooth print and is also much shorter. Plus, she's wearing tights. Obviously, both girls are very business appropriate, yet very fashionable and extravagant. And pink, of course, because, you know, Barbie, but their outfits are very, very different. You can clearly see the inspiration here, but both outfits have been done in a very different way. Overall, Miss Day Tonight's outfit is much more subdued, while Miss Rewinds' outfit is much more extra, pun intended, and you know, full of bright colors, bolder patterns, accessories, and all that stuff. Also, of course, you know, we can't forget about the shoulder pads. So to me, this outfit, even though this one was actually originally, you know, released in the 80s, I believe that this outfit is actually much more classically 80s, you know? Another major difference, Miss Day to Night Barbie comes with slide-on mules, as you can see here, while Miss Barbie Rewind comes with the classic Barbie pumps we all know and love. A final major difference I'd like to point out, of course, is that they have very, very different body types. Although I have a feeling that both of them are sporting the classic bend and snap knees, 
Miss Barbie Day Tonight is probably sporting a classic TNT body, while this girl is a hybrid of the modern, standard, articulated Barbie body type with the bend and snap legs that we saw in the early 2000s. So I believe that this was it for our little comparison. My final thoughts on these two, you can clearly, very, very clearly tell and see the inspiration behind you know this gal she's obviously very inspired by day to night barbie and yet she's completely reimagined and different and very very iconic all on her own to me those two dolls are equally iconic and individually iconic so that is amazing and i love them together as well of course they're very close aesthetically so i do love them together and again, once more, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know which one is your favorite and what do you think their similarities are. Did I miss something? Did you spot anything else? Let me know. Okay, that was fabulous. I love them both so very much, like you have no idea. And I, I love the little common features. Everything is just amazing with these two and I'm so happy to now have this girl in my collection. But of course, I must reach the end of the story because don't worry, don't worry, everything is fine. As I said in the beginning, this is a story of my own stupidity. So instead of being completely frustrated, I decided I was like, I opened every single one of those dolls. Thankfully, they have a packaging that actually allows you to place them back in without ruining it. So that was a big deal for me. So I opened them all, I laid them on my bed. I was furious. I got some cotton swabs and rubbing alcohol and some acetone. And I tried to just eliminate those spots because seriously, the little chunk of lipstick missing just wasn't bothering me so much anymore. I just wanted them to have clear faces which is now that I'm thinking about it. I have mold, you know, so why couldn't they have beauty marks and stuff? And I get people that are mad at imperfections and uh, defects because when you pay for something, you know, you want it to be great. So I understand that. I, of course, tried to do my best, but nothing was happening. So I just left it there. I was talking to my friend. I was crying. I was like, this cannot be happening. Like a little drama queen I am. So. I don't know, I just gave up and after like, I think it was two hours, the cum swabs with the acetone and the rubbing alcohol were all around my bed and so were the dolls and it was like, I just went there and it was so mad, I was like, I have to get them back to their boxes. I got the cum swab, one of the dolls and it was like, and it just vanished. All the spots with my second try, I guess, all the spots were removed vanished, gone, like they were a piece of dirt, you know? And I am guessing that this is what they were. I'm just a little drama queen and I overreact sometimes. So instead of having three defective dolls, now I have two perfect dolls and one doll with a small defect. Do I mind it? She has the fabulous superstar face and she is adorable. No, seriously, in retrospect, I really, really don't. I mean, you saw her close-ups, she's really, really cute. And now I have two perfect ones that I get to keep in the box. Like, how cool is that? Thank you so much to that person from Amazon again. They were so helpful because actually that was a doll with a little defect. So of course, my replacement was completely just. So yeah, I believe that was it. Now, before I share with you my final thoughts on this matter, I actually found a little cute playset that I think would match her perfectly it's not an office it's from the 90s of course and i want to show it to you are you ready let's check it out
Okay, that was so much fun. I wasn't planning on like initially talking about this place, but first of all, wow, it is so cute. This is the first time I'm unboxing it. I had it in my collection for a while and I wanted to do this, but I hadn't found the time and now I did and it's perfect. But what I wanted you to listen mainly is this. So when you like, I guess, turn it on, it has a little button here. You can hear this sound. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, enough. So, that was a little scary. I don't know if the years have like done something to it because it's so old, obviously it's from the 90s and you know, it's an old playset. But this sound is scary. This sound is straight off a horror movie. Like, seriously, I do not know what's going on. Our girl here, as you saw, had her hands full with all the phone calls and everything. It has a little cute phone super adorable and the lamp turns on so great but i don't know the sound of it the sound is scary let's just say that nevertheless this was so much fun and i believe we're done i think it worked perfectly as her super pink super girly girl boss office okay still not an office i know but i think it was really cute and it worked really well what do you think so for my final thoughts on this matter i've said it times and times before when it comes to barbie even though i understand some collectors frustration with little defects and stuff i also don't get it because i have 90s dolls and i have early 2000s dolls that have the same if not worse defects than today's dolls so i don't really understand all the hostility i mean okay she had a little defect <laughs> happens you know it happens it just happens and in retrospect i feel like i was a little bit over dramatic as well especially without even trying with my two perfect dolls without even trying to just swap the little dust you know and it just went away so I didn't even try and I started like being oh my gosh just whatever but you know that wasn't the case I mean if I had maybe been more positive about it I would have sold the issue much earlier and of course again it's just a little defect the doll is perfect you can feel her quality her quality is great she has amazing hair she has a lovely outfit with great fabrics sewn everything is sewn in we even have a clip on here you can feel her heaviness it's actually like holding a barbie from the 80s or the 90s so that is amazing a total rewind so is it really worth it completely erasing the magic of this line or complaining about this line or whatever which is something we've wanted for so freaking long vintage barbie right here today i mean yeah is it worth it to just dismiss all that for a little defect for a little like it's like her lips are chipped can't this happen to you isn't barbie preaching that now we don't have to be like perfect the absolute perfection again as i've said i remember there's an episode from barbie dreamhouse adventures and barbie has a zit so it's just a minor imperfection and when it is that minor i do not let it get to me because seriously there are so many other things in the world and i mean my barbies give me happiness and i choose to focus on that at the same time however I completely understand that when you pay for something you don't want the defects and of course I can understand the frustration but you know if where you're buying from whether it's Mattel or Amazon if they give you the chance to just replace it all and they make it easy for you to do so is it such a big deal can't we excuse some defects now if especially the company is willing to replace your doll? I mean, I got a new doll in seconds. The customer support person was like, okay, I've sent you another one. It was just like seconds. I didn't even know that could happen again. But yeah, does a little defect matter so very much if you can actually like replace it all? easily i mean i believe that both the mattel website and of course amazon both offer returns and replacements so and if you're shopping from a toy store or whatever make sure they are returnable 
always. I say that actually for everything you shop, I always make sure they are returnable. Because of course, every store has their own policy, so make sure everything you get is returnable. And instead of just focusing on the negative and on the awful quality of Barbie and the defect, maybe we should focus on the positive because this gal is so cute and even taking a look at her makes my day. So, do we really need any more negativity in this world? Okay. Okay. And with that, I believe we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you had fun with my little stupid story, which is basically, you could say that at some degree it's my fault because I was like, I was a bit stubborn. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you had fun. I hope you're enjoying the rewind line. Personally, I cannot wait to see the other waves. I want a 90s one, of course, duh. And I want an early 2000s one too. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. And of course, if you want to see more photos of this girl or my other darling girls or my Barbie life and shenanigans, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and on my Instagram right here. And as always, if you did in fact like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell ring to know every time I upload a new one. Again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, play with your dollies, do all the things you love, focus on the things that make you happy no matter what, and of course, keep a positive attitude because it really does change everything. Peace.